Hey, it's funny. I kind of wanted to share something today because you know, what I've been thinking about lately has been so, so many times in the past where when we would be short on work because I, I have a business where we do remodeling and and um, for over 20 years I've had my own remodeling business and we actually do some really amazing you know high-end work at times and and you know we're usually really busy but occasionally every time there would be uh, a lull you know a little bit of a downtime and I would I would used to get stressed out because of my crew and, and wanted to keep everyone busy and and so I'd find myself trying to make work happen. I'd start calling up previous clients and uh, I'd be all stressed out. Like, you know, is there anything we can do? do, you, do you know, I'd, be, I'd go down the list of, of recent clients over the past couple of years and I'd be trying to conjure up whatever work I could find. And, um, and what I started seeing about that is, you know, several years ago I gave the Lord my business and said, you know, Jesus, I want you to be Lord. I want you to be Lord of my business. And and there's times I forget that and start then start going back to thinking that I'm Lord of my business and I, I'm, I'm responsible. I got to make this stuff happen and, and it's my responsibility to make work happen. And what I started realizing over a period of several years was every time I tried to make work happen, um, it just didn't seem to pay very well. It, it seemed like it was more of a headache. It just didn't, it just didn't work out. Um, and yes, there's times we, you know, we would keep us busy. But looking back on it, I started wondering, you know, I started losing my peace in it. I started seeing that the Lord was trying to give me times of rest, time, you know, trying to give my crew um, rest. At times I, I could have given them, you know, maybe some paid time off or um, really just seeing that I started being Lord of my business and thinking that I was totally responsible to provide work for my crew. And, and to a degree as a business owner, in a way, I mean, that, that, that there is truth to that. But what I started seeing is the, the Lord encountered me and I would say he gave me a revelation. And that is, he has his part and I have my part. And before I gave the Lord my business, it was all my part. But I want to share with you from a standpoint of faith and being able to be at peace and have joy and just enjoy your life is when I started realizing that when I gave Jesus my business, he took it. And what he did was it kind of spoke to my spirit in a way of uh, or uh, maybe in a revelation. It wasn't an audible thing, but it just felt like he was saying in my heart, if you take care of your part, just do your job, do what you can do, and I'll set your schedule. I'll send you the work you need. And it really came into fruition probably about eight, nine months ago, I was talking to a friend of mine. He was sharing his testimony about how he was struggling for work for months, and the Lord was kind of dealing with him over some things, and, and this man of God came into his office and and told them you know what i feel like you need to i feel like lord's saying you need to cancel your advertising and and the guy's like you know are you nuts i mean i haven't had a phone call in two or three months i mean we're broke we're, we're really struggling he goes well do what you want but i, I just feel like it's, it's something the lord's trying to trying to help you be in faith in and if you cancel your advertising the lord will move and well, the guy kind of struggled with it, but but felt like that was something the Lord was putting on his heart. So he decided to cancel his advertising. And within like 24 hours, he started getting phone calls again, ended up having the best year and a half of his business that he'd ever had in his life was just that, that period of time where he decided to just put his, you know, stop trying to make work happen through direct advertising and spending thousands of dollars a month in advertising decided to cancel all of his advertising together and just be in faith that the Lord was going to provide. And you know what? He did. He ended up having the best year and a half or two years of his of his business in that period of time where he decided to just trust that Jesus was going to be Lord of his business and not try to be in control of everything, control of his business anymore. And so, so when he said that, and he's sharing his testimony with me, 
I heard something in it, and and, and I, at the time I was spending like two to three thousand dollars a month and ads, Google ads, or whatever, direct advertising, and and I heard something. And I was like, you know what? If if Jesus can do it for him, he can do it for me too. So that day, I called up my advertising, canceled all my advertising. Uh, I mean, I still have a website, I still have a storefront, and everything, but didn't didn't make any difference at all. Our business still thrived this whole year, and it it was great. It, it was like the Lord was saying, you know what? I'll be Lord if you make me Lord of your business. I'll set your schedule. I'll send you the work you need when you need it. And I'll give you rest when you need it. And I just wanted to share that today because the fact is, for, for so many years, I carried the stress and the weight of, of trying to make business happen, try to scale my business, build it, you know, make, you know, be, be, try to build wealth, whatever, try to be, become this, this great, successful business. And I realized... You know, we've all heard the saying, you know, let go and let God. And, and I kind of resist that in a way. But the thing that was great about it is once I decided to trust that Jesus was Lord and I made him Lord of my business, Lord of my life, he took, he does his part. He's faithful to provide for our company, provide for our business, send us the work we need. And I just wanted to share that because... You know, sometimes we all need a little bit of faith. We all need a little bit of direction. We all need to hear his voice. And it really made such a difference for me. So I just, I just wanted to share that today.